Tennis great Arthur Ashe said one of life's goals should be reaching a point where going for it is more important than winning or losing. Through his tennis career, senior J.C. Aragoni has lived to that maxim. Like many junior players, his dream was professional tennis, but a series of health scares as a teenager forever altered his path and his outlook on life. I was with uh, Ty and Luca at the USTA, I don't know, when I was like 15. And we were literally getting ready to go to South America for some ITS for a couple months. And I had like an allergic reaction to medication. And I flew straight home from Florida to, to went straight to the ER. And I was basically in intensive care for like two and a half months. I was, you know, I was in a coma, I had liver failure, spleen failure. I was almost like pretty much dead. So that process took about six, seven months kind of to get back on my feet and, um, you know, really get out of the hospital. And then after that, it took about a year to get back on the court. I was playing Jordan Daigle, actually, who um, was my roommate first year, and I felt awful, I felt awful. I went back, and that's when I realized I had diabetes. Luckily, I'm recovered now, and everything's good, but it was definitely a kind of a long process. The frightening complications closed the door on his professional aspirations, but opened one to college tennis at the University of Virginia. He stepped through the door, opening himself to all the academic and athletic opportunities offered at UVA. I honestly have no idea like what I was expecting coming to college. I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to play high in the lineup. I, you know, I knew the team was amazing. I was just happy to be, be out there hitting with these guys. And then academically, it was a completely new environment for me. So being able to learn how to study and how to be in a classroom multiple hours out of the day was a completely new experience for me. And my first exam ever, I remember, was bio, biogenetics or something. And I was sitting there with Luca, and I remember his exam was rough. I mean, my first semester, I was drowning in schoolwork. And then from going there to like my second year, I had a 3-9. It was just like day and night. For me, that, that was like a life-changing experience. Everything that happened, every experience was kind of like a new, kind of new journey, a new part of life, um, a new way of thinking of things. So, I mean, I've just been happy to be able to kind of experience that. People that know me will probably tell you, I, you know, I take everything kind of a day at a time. I didn't have any regrets, I didn't have any, you know, any doubt in my mind. I was just kind of playing it, you know, day by day and seeing, you know, where can I get better? How can I improve in this aspect? Not just the as tennis aspects, but kind of other, other aspects of, you know, my academics and just becoming a better person, a better leader. Um, and, you know, UVA has really helped me with that. I think in order to become your best, you have to embrace everything UVA, socially, academically, and athletically. Some of the arguably one of the greatest college players ever to play the game embraced every part of the university and developed holistically. And I think that's part of becoming a better person as well as a better player and they go hand in hand. And JC understands that as well as anybody. From the day he walked into the university, he embraced everything UVA. The gregarious Aragoni is a vital part of the Cavaliers lineup and overall chemistry. Armed with a positive outlook and unflappable confidence, he's helped the Cavaliers win NCAA team titles and an ITA indoor championship in his time on grounds. He loves competing. He absolutely embraces every opportunity to compete on a daily basis, and whether it's in practice or in a match. Um, he also adjusts and adapts really well to things, you know, like things that come to him at the last minute, he tends to really adapt. Uh, and, I can remember times when he would be put in the lineup the last minute for a big match. Give me the court and the balls, I'm ready to go. I think when you face the level of adversity that JC has, it puts life in perspective. And he certainly, when he walks out of court, he realizes that regardless of the result, nobody's going to die. Being so sick for so long, I mean, you kind of just start laughing at everything. Like, it can't get that much worse. You know, you might as well crack a joke here and there. And being a diabetic athlete is not the most common thing. But at the same time, it's not the worst thing, in, in my opinion. You kind of have to learn to manage it like anything. You know, once you have it, you, you know, these are the cards I have. This is kind of what I'm stuck with, and now I have to find a way to manage it. That's definitely helped me, especially with how tough college tennis is. In an individual sport like tennis, titles usually measure the player. But for J.C. Aragoni, it's the relationships he's made with his teammates, coaches, and fellow students that he values most. So it's always funny, people always tell you, you know, Charlottesville's amazing, and I agree with them 100%, but as great as a community, as great as a town is, it's only as great as the people. It doesn't matter where I go in my tennis career or where I end up, it's who I surround myself with, and I feel like I leave here having that kind of support base and can always rely on Brian or my teammates, and for me, that, that's just huge.